all right what's going on everybody it's your boy Akeen and welcome to this vlog I'm here to give you a preview of the Buffalo Bulls for the 2015 college football season now last year um, they actually went five and six and they have a completely new coaching staff starting with their new head coach in Lance uh, Lou Leopold decent head coach they picked up uh, um, Andy uh, Cotolan Call to Nikki, the offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator, and Brian uh, Borland. Sorry if I, I took so long. I had to read my notes a little bit. But they do have a couple of great players returning offensively, starting with their quarterback, and I believe that he should make all conference honors at the end of this season. And Joe uh, uh, Licata, he actually had 2,600 yards passing this past season over that mark, 29 touchdowns and 11 interceptions. And he was second in the conference in passer rating with 150 per game. Now, they also have the return of second team all conference running back and Anthon on uh, Taylor, who had 1,403 yards rushing and 12 scores. And their leading wide receiver in Ron Willisby. Uh, Willisby at 771 yards receiving last season. A good three-handed monster offensively who averaged 32.3 points per game. Now defensively though, they averaged allowing 31.5 points per game. This defense is the defenses for the MAC Conference um, this past season has been struggling a lot. It's been pretty an offensive of force in that MAC Conference. Now they do have the return of a couple of players defensively in Brandon Crawford who had 19 tackles and 3 sacks but he didn't miss 4 games last season and he needs to stay healthy, as well as senior linebacker Akizi Alazi. He had 49 tackles and three sacks himself. So they do have a couple of okay pass rushers, but they're going to have to have a better supporting cast this upcoming season in order to help this this team reach back and possibly make it to a MAC championship um at the end of the season. Now, as far as their top recruits, they, their top recruit is actually a running back and Jonathan Hawkins. He's five foot eleven, two hundred and thirteen pounds. He could be definitely a bullet ball for the future to replace um um Anton um um Taylor. Now they uh, they also picked up a wide receiver in Cameron Lewis. He's a little bit small though as far as his weight. He's five ten, one hundred and fifty six pounds, but he does have good speed. And lastly, Tyree Jackson, a quarterback that they picked up, six foot three, two hundred pounds he is a decent player coming out of high school now as far as their uh, their um games i definitely see them winning at least five games this season but i definitely see them losing five games so i'm really going to be confused of what's going to happen this year as far as the two remaining games i'm going to have them go and losing with those games and have them going five and seven overall and not make it to a bowl matchup at the end of the season now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys from being just a couple of minutes, I have a lot more blogs for you for today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Keen McCall. Be easy.